All right, what's up YouTube? Dylan here with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar, and I'm actually bringing to you Brewhead Espresso for the first time on my YouTube channel. So I've actually purchased a trailer, which you can see in the background. Sorry if it's kind of hard to hear me. I don't have my mic on. I'm gonna do my best though. So we actually bought our coffee trailer a while back. Uh, I am just now getting it ready and getting it up to par so that we can start doing our events. Uh, we are going to be available to hire in the Chicagoland area. Uh, I just want to take you through a walkthrough of everything that we have going on at Brewhead Espresso. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll take you through a run through of what we have done. So I'm going to take the phone from my wife. So here we have our coffee cart that was built. Uh, also a shout out to uh, one of my friends for helping me build this thing. So this is made out of very old 4x4s and also really old shiplap from a barn, which is really cool. We have all of our locking wheels at the bottom and we also have these side tables that fold up so pretty much here it allows us for extra room to keep our kettle and such i do have a sign that comes between both of these bull rings here i just don't have it up right now uh, definitely let me know if you guys can hear me it is a little bit windy out and i don't have my mic on however we do put our brew head espresso sign there these are held on by these brackets and they're easy click the, uh, brackets here. So you just push these both down and you're going to be able to uh, take that and clasp that down really easy. Uh, right now, if you guys are just tuning into this video and you're not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button as it really does help. Also hit that like button. And if you can comment down below coffee trailer. So I know you've seen this part of the video and it really, really will make a big difference in the YouTube algorithm by commenting coffee trailer in the comments. All right, so as you see here, I do have one door missing. Yes, I still have to fix the door. The door is actually inside, but I am working on that. However, in the meantime, what we have going on, I'm just gonna take you through a walkthrough of what I have. So I have my water pump here and pretty much essentially it just feeds a line that's down here, obviously to the power cord. This right here, so there's two four gallon buckets. One's full, one's empty. The one that's full, you're gonna get this main water line that comes into the bucket. So it's gonna come through here, go all the way into the pump. The pump's gonna feed it into this white tube, which is gonna come all the way up into the holes I built here, up and down through here. And the water is going to come out of this pitcher rinser, which is going to really make the workflow a lot easier. Um, and it's gonna be very convenient right here. So this is a drip tray. This was all cut out to come into uh, the actual cart here. So down at the bottom, you can also see the attachments, give you guys a close up of kind of what I have going on. Uh, we definitely make sure you have those clamps at the very bottom to hold the hoses on so they don't come loose. Uh, that's the last thing you guys want. Also, when you are doing anything with water, make sure you are sealing everything. So I did seal this bottom, this top, and also the top of here. That's why you see this gloss shine. Uh, that's very, very important. So one thing for right now, because I don't have my door, and when I do have my door, I don't want these four gallon buckets coming in past the door and breaking it off the hinges. So what I did was I just put like these little rings here on one side of them, and then I clasp it together. So it's not going anywhere. This side, we have a little lock here and a lock here. It just keeps the door shut and it doesn't come loose. We have our garbage can here and I mounted my extension cord on the back wall here. So this is where we're gonna get all of our power source. I still have to drill a hole through here and also through this main table right here. So that way my, all of my cords for my espresso machine, my grinder and everything can be fed down into this main extension here. Uh, I do have along the way uh, pictures of how I built this cart. Uh, I will, I will be making a video and showing you all of that as well. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna sti uh, stick to this. And we're gonna go on to the trailer. So the trailer is, uh, I actually just cleaned it for the first time. So always make sure if you buy things, you always wanna keep it nice. Uh, the really cool thing about, did I just see Hoon drive by? No, we are totally in different states. <laughs> Okay, so this one, uh, we do have a utility box here. Now, a lot of trailers don't have this. I'm very thankful that this one did come with this, and I'm gonna show you why. It's 
definitely a really cool touch to have. All right, so it is weatherproof. Uh, they did a great job. They put all the weather seals in here and uh, it has not had any kind of issues whatsoever. Here you have your three ton jack, which is nice. Uh, definitely something that you want to have when you have a trailer in case you never know the situations. All different kinds of ratchet straps. You have a rubber mallet, uh, an extra third wheel, which will click onto here so it makes the trailer easier to move. Uh, always you want to get a lock for your hitch because you don't want anybody stealing your stuff. Utility gloves, flares, and, uh, and triangles. Just to be better, you have your chucks here, which is going to be put on your wheel so they don't go anywhere. And uh, yeah, so that is the utility box. It's nice, especially to get a locking one because you never know who's gonna try to get in. So we do have a side door here, which is extremely nice. Um, definitely take care of your stuff, clean it. Uh, you don't have to clean it too, too much, but it's definitely a good idea. So I'm gonna take you inside the trailer just to kind of see what exactly I have inside. So here is the inside of the trailer. Uh, it's really nice. The only downfall is it is only uh, about six feet tall. Thankfully, I'm only 5'10", so I do have clearance to go all the way through. However, I am not gonna be able to serve out of here. This is just mainly a trailer for my coffee pop-up. So once I get enough attention and enough business and a good clientele, uh, and enough people coming to see my uh, my pop-ups, then I will be purchasing a bigger one that is seven feet tall, make a pop-up a pop-up window, and I'll be serving out of my trailer. So these are just basic tubs. Uh, you can really buy any tubs that you want. However, these are the tubs that I use to put all of my stuff in there, whether it's my sauces, my syrups, um, uh, apparel, the cash register, everything is in these tubs. They're nice because they do have clasps and they do lock at that little tiny hole right there. So you can put a lock on there, which is nice. Uh, definitely something to think about if you are doing a pop-up, you make sure you have to have these little floor, uh, these little floor cuffs here because if you don't, I'm thankful that he put one every, so I mean, that, that's probably like at three, four feet which is nice. And I also put little hooks on the actual studs. And those are, this is gonna be where my sink sits. And it initially it was for my first event, it was for my pop or for my uh, pitcher rinser. But now that that is built into my cart, these are where my, car, this is where my cart will go. I'm gonna be putting that in there later on today. I'm just kind of working on a few t finishing touches right now. Uh, I do have my big ice, container here so this is where all of the ice is stored and then we have our table where we drape our logo and curtain over and then this is really nice i never really knew how expensive these big coolers are but they are definitely good to sit on uh, during an event or you can um, and it's really good at keeping the temperature for the milk good uh, it is when it is hooked up to my truck as you can see there is lights which is nice uh, it doesn't really see, uh, it doesn't seem like it's that bright, but at night these things are extremely bright and I'm extremely thankful. Um, something else that I'm planning on doing is putting uh, a couple shelves in the back wall so that way I can layer that up so I have more room to put my, my buckets as opposed to on the ground. Probably make two and then I'll be able to run a hook from that to that wall and then kind of put a clasp on there and just keep that all nice and neat you always want to have your spare tire uh, i have buckets just in case you never know when you're going to need any kind of buckets but yeah this is where everything's going to be going so this is a look into the trailer itself it is extremely nice definitely grateful to have this one wish i could have got one a little taller but it's going to work for now but here's another good look at the coffee cart if any of you guys are interested in how i built it i can make a video um, pretty much showing you how I did that in here. Don't mind the gym. I do have a easy fill gas station, uh, easy fill gas, easy fill um, gasoline container. And this is going to be nice because I don't want to overfill my generators. So I've just bought generators over here. So sometimes I'll be doing outside events and I'm not going to have a way to plug into any kind of outlet. So I did buy two 4,500 watt generators. I bought a parallel system, which is going to uh, link into these red and black 
here. And then it's a little tiny device that sticks onto this generator to allow both units to work as one power source. Um, right now it is 4,500 watts, but running watts, it's about 3,500. I have about 4,000 running watts with all my equipment together. So this is totaling about 9,000 and I'm going to get about 7,000 running watts. So I always have 3,000 more than I actually need. It's never bad to have too much power. Uh, it's definitely something to uh, think about when you get your cart going. This is a, let me get this moved out for you. So over here is a custom built box or chest for my espresso machine. I did build this as well. So I put the bull ring hooks on both sides so that way I can attach it to the hooks over there on the trailer. Um, I do have these handles. No, I don't mainly hold on to these to go on the machine. There is wheels, which I can show you here. Caster wheels on the bottom. And I have two little rope hooks right here. So that way I can put a lock here. So if I have an event and I put my machine in here, then no one can take it because it is locked up. One thing to note, if you are going to build anything out of wood and you're going to have something that is hot or is cooling down into you have to make sure you seal the wood. If you don't, the lid and all of the, the wood itself is going to bow. So if you, as long as you have that sealed, you are fine. So inside, kind of flip this up. Yep, swelling, exactly. So inside, you're going to see a huge layer of foam. So I did build this to custom fit my Linea Mini. So in here, you can see I did use the original cardboard that came uh, that my Linea Mini came with, so I didn't have to build it myself. Um, I did uh, attach it to the actual wood, and then I just put caster wheels on the bottom of it and then built it up. So I did build the box around what the actual machine was shipped uh, from. And then here is the top of the actual um, piece. So this is what actually goes onto the top lid of the Linea Mini and it works pretty well. So this is all goes right back in. It's kind of hard to do it one handed, but I'm gonna do that really quick. Like I said, it's extremely easy with two hands, but with one hand, it's kind of hard to fold the foam back in. All right, so the foam's back in and sits right back on top. Here is the parallel link that I was talking about, which is gonna turn the generators into one powerful unit. And over here you have your main power cord adapter for the generator. So a definite must when you go into any kind of outside events. And the reason I went with an inverter the reason I went through for an inverter generator is because they are a lot quieter. That's the last thing you want is to have an open face generator. And all you hear is throughout the whole event. Uh, it's going to be frustrating. I'm not going to be able to hear orders as well. So always spend a little bit more money to get yourself an inverter generator. I did go with the champion global powerful equipment series. Um, I had a lot of good reviews, a lot of good reviews online as well. Uh, but definitely um, very, very pricey. So make sure you account for that when you purchase. I believe each one is about $1,100. Uh, sometimes you can get them on sale for about $650, $700, but definitely something to look at. So again, this is my coffee journey. I am going to be starting um, trying to get all kinds of events here this summer, and I will take you guys along with the, uh, with the journey. But... I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in also to spread the word about Brewhead Espresso as me and my wife and my wife and I are extremely excited to take you along in our journey as we embark with all of you. I hope you guys all follow my journey, share this, make sure to hit that like and subscribe if you are still currently watching and we can't be more grateful. Also, we are very, very happy to finally serve our community with amazing specialty coffee and we hope that uh, you guys enjoy the process so again if you guys are watching you guys are amazing make sure to hit that thumbs up 
Also, make sure to hit in the uh, in the comment section, coffee bar and Brewhead Espresso. If you are paying attention, that way I know you guys followed me all the way till the end. And as always, you guys know, my name's Dylan with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar. This is my wife, Barista Brittany. Barista. I hope you guys all have a great and fantastic day. Fantastic. Stay caffeinated. Peace. Peace.